This is something I've been looking forward to saying for a while. We're going to the beach! And it's such a nice day as well. It's, it's like blue sky. It's a stunner. So nice. So we're in Gdansk at the moment, but we're going to Sopot, which is... I think we're going to take the SKM train. We don't really know yeah. how far it is. No, 30 minutes or so, perhaps. We've got a few recommendations from people of what we can do when we get there. But I think, what's our first stop? Uh, we're going out for breakfast, breakfast on the beach. Yeah. And then uh, we've got Jerome the drone with us, so hopefully we can get some aerial footage and a couple of other little things, but we're just going to sort of roll with it today. Just sort of yesterday, our last two videos we filmed in the same day and it was full on. So I think a slower. Bit more chill today. Yeah, a bit yeah. more our pace. We're just going to go and check out the pier, see the water, take it all in. Where do you want to sit? It's really busy. <laughs> it's not a single person on this whole train. Oh. Sure. So it was about a 30 minute trade ride. Trade. Trade. <laughs> trade. <laughs> trade ride. Pretty painless. Gets How a bit busier. Uh, it's about 380 each, so it's it's pretty effective really. Yeah. So we it's came out into the Sopot station, which is really nice, eh? Yeah, really nice. This whole town, we've just come out onto like a walking street, like mm. a pedestrian street down a hill, and it's Pretty really sure it's going towards the water, eh? It's going towards the water. Yeah. You can just, it's got a cool feel, this town already. Yeah, it feels like it's, um, it feels beachy, it feels yeah, like relaxed. Resorty, maybe. Yeah, and we like that. We don't really know what the story is, but apparently this was or is like a spa town. Yeah. What does that mean exactly? Do you know? There's spas here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really know. All we know is that if we keep walking down that way, there's supposed to be a really nice beach, a beautiful long pier, which is the largest wooden pier, pier in, Europe. in Europe. We'll we're try and get, get some more some... facts on that. But now we're gonna go get some breakfast on the beach, maybe. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna head down the street. We could not we're gonna avoid the the pier now because we definitely need some food it's actually past lunchtime so we might be we might be pushing it to go and get ourselves some eggs but there's a spot that we've been told about that we definitely have to go check out so this is the walking street so <laughs> that was stacy in the background saying is that lollies <laughs> have they got lollies she's such a little kid I like lolly shop. <laughs> so yeah this is the this is the walking street we've just come out of the sun but it was quite nice walking in it for a while see it's quite it's quite long so there's enough there's a reasonable amount of people about it, it is a weekday but still Really calm. We heard about this place, but we weren't sure if we were going to find it. It is a crazy building that's all on these weird angles. Apparently, from what we just quickly read, there's not much of a story other than it was inspired by um, some fairy tales or some, some illustrations from a couple of names that we didn't know, so they're obviously probably known in Polish, but it's absolutely crazy. So these very, very weird shapes and circles and <laughs> it's a Costa coffee. We were joking saying I wonder if you'd order a coffee and it would come out and the cup would be all, all mangled up as well. <laughs> that seems to be a place that everyone wants to come and get their photos though. Um, wow. This is a, this is what, the, the, this isn't what I expected either. <laughs> In a really good way though, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Talk us through it. Okay, first of all, it's so nice and hot. The beach is beautiful. There's not too many people. Light breeze. Light breeze. I'm just, I'm digging it. I'm into yeah, it. Yeah, this is great. It's hard to describe the, like, the feeling. If anyone's watching and considering like coming to Poland, I can highly recommend yeah, you should stay here. We were already just talking to each other just then. Oh, sorry, it's probably dark. The sun's right behind me. We were just saying, this is where we're walking then. We should have 
we should have spent more time up here and probably tried to stay in this area. Yeah. Because the beat, like, it's, it's crazy to leave the cities of, of Krakow, city of Krakow, and then come out here. You just don't expect that there's a beach right here. It's, no. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what, train. yeah, I don't know what we're struggling with, but we just didn't really, hello, we just didn't really expect, but yeah, stunned, stunned already, so much more to see. Well, we came to the spot that was recommended to us, but somehow time absolutely slipped away on us. It is now one o'clock, and we haven't really had breakfast, and we had our hearts like absolutely set on having some breakfast foods, but we're just going to grab something real cheap and easy, and then probably find a spot to... Uh, have a beer obviously and then to scope out this pier because it looks we can see it in the distance it's almost impossible to miss it in the distance This thing is mowing the lawns by itself. It's a lawn rumba. So we've made our way to the pier. You can't miss it. Like we said, it is so big. So we found out it's 511 meters and it is Europe's largest wooden pier. It's not the largest pier, but just the largest wooden one. Um, and it was made in 1827. But I think to begin with it was only 100 and something meters. And then somebody was like, let's make this bigger. And then they wanted cruise ships and stuff to come in. So two or three times they've made it bigger over the years, but now 511 meters. So we're about to walk out onto it, but you have to pay. It's uh, eight zloty per person. And I don't really think there's anything else on there. Well, we don't really know. I'm just making that up basically. <laughs> so we just have to go and scan these and then walk out. It's really windy out there. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to talk too much, but we're going to go have a look anyway. Let's all go out here. We're not really sure what is happening. This boat has just come in and then we've got some uh, synchronized helicopters out there and then, oh, it's hard to capture them now. They've gone in behind. Oh, maybe, are those Navy ships out there perhaps? Where did they all come from? Maybe that's what's going on. And then over this way here, sorry for the focus, down the back out there, there's some planes as well. Got a bit of a show. Over the back is where we were, but after walking 500 meters each way, so that's a, that's a K, that's a long distance, <laughs> we've definitely earned a beer. So come back to where we were gonna go for breakfast. It's a great little spot right on the beach here. Some people there watching uh, Portugal play. Little spot with a boardway, some music playing. And then the beach is, you can't really see it, but the beach is just over the back there. Oh yeah, this is the line. <laughs> <laughs> Our plan was to get the drone up and we mentioned that, I'm a little bit sad that we're not going to get the chance because we don't really want to run into any troubles when there's six different like there Navy or Air aircraft. Force related <laughs> crafts up there in formation, it doesn't seem right to then launch a drone up 
which I don't know if it comes up on radars or not. Maybe we're being silly, but we're just being we're Look, just being we smart. We just wanted to go and drink a beer on the beach, to be honest. <laughs> which we did. It was a great little spot to it finish really up. Good. And the day has been. What's your review? Ten out of ten. Would we'll come back again. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a cop-out response, isn't it? <laughs> what? It's just using a basic rating system. Oh, I think it, I think it's clear that we've both really enjoyed getting to the coast. The, there's just a different atmosphere, a different feeling when you're... Oh, look at you showing off with your review. <laughs> that's one beer and we go crazy. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. The next videos that you will see are from Warsaw, which is exciting. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye.